Hey, everybody, it's the Catholic Talk Show. I'm very confident that you know that Lent is coming. Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Lent's just around the corner, oh, and we bought <laughs> we brought in Jordan from Everything Catholic to show us some of the really great things that he has available on the store that can help you prepare for Lent. Mm-hmm. And some of those things are really phenomenal resources. So these books are tremendous. And I'm looking through these, Jordan, and the Messages of Healing for Lent 2023, a three-minute devotion. And you have each day marked with some scriptures, some insights, you know, into how we can enrich our Lenten journey. So this is very timely, and I'm going to purchase this for my parish. So any of my brother priests out there, this is a great resource and very helpful for parishioners to kind of journey more deeply through a very important season. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, so our, our goal and mission at everythingcatholic.com is to provide products that will help you live the Catholic good life, right? Mm-hmm. And Lent is one of the seasons, one of the big seasons of the church, and it can be easy to kind of pick your head up midway through or towards the end of Lent and be like, where did Lent go? Mm-hmm. And not really make the most of the season. And it's a fantastic time if you really are intentional about it. So what we've got here today are a variety of different products that we sell on the store that will help you do that. Enter into prayer, maybe take a personal retreat through a book, um, some of the smells that just cause you to think about the church, think about this season in the church, and prepare yourself for Easter. Yeah. Lent's one of my favorite times of year. And it, it sounds kind of weird, but I absolutely look forward to Lent like it's my birthday every year. I love the season of fasting. I love just really entering so into true. that pre- preparation for Easter. Mm-hmm. It means a reset. I it like is. it. I like it more than the lead up to Christmas. Mm-hmm. I like it more than Advent, you know, which is kind of more joyful. I really, I look forward to it all year round. And some of these resources are great um, to help you, like you said, get the most out of yeah. Lent because Lent is such a powerful time yeah. for reversion mm-hmm. and for bringing yourself back to yeah. Christ. Advent, unfortunately, can be that time. It can be so secularized mm-hmm. because of. Christmas shopping and all the different holiday things, and the nice thing about Lent is it's 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 not as uh, congested. You know, yeah. there there's just more room to breathe. You, you know, you're not far from the start of the new year, and it's a great time to begin some new spiritual habits, start to create some new ways of of life, and deepen your prayer life. Yeah. So why don't you tell us what some of these things that you got? Yeah, here? let's start with some of the books. So we've got four books here, um, and and most of these books uh, are going to just be personal retreat type books or prayer journal type books that you can begin on Ash Wednesday or at the start of Lent and will walk you all the way through to the Triduum. They're specific to Lent. Correct. These are specific. And these are just four. We've got many on the site. Um, Give up worry for Lent. Ooh. Yeah. Don't worry. Be happy. Yeah. And and this is great because... I'm I'm going to purchase on behalf of the parish the it's it's a couple of bucks so that mm-hmm. it's worth it but that uh, messages for healing book looks perfect and mm-hmm. and I try to get something in people's hands um, but you know if you're out there and you want something right now this is a great way to look up everythingcatholic.com and check out these books but Gary Zimak put together a really interesting one here and it's it's uh, give up worry for Lent right how many of us worry or are anxious about so yeah. much um what a great way to reset yourself interiorly mm-hmm. by a resource like this this one i'm very impressed with the art on this book yeah, beautiful. here and my brother priest father john burns beautiful really put together a phenomenal resource and the paper that he used <laughs> uh is excellent because it, it's it use your the use of it is for reflection, prayer, consideration, and then journaling even mm-hmm. through Lent. That's cool to have a journal. That, Love that. You know, and then stuff to help you kind of formulate that and right. then a journal to help actuate and it. Hey, These are day-by-day hey, day 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 resources <laughs> to help you walk through Lent from the start to the finish. You need all of these, Ryan. <laughs> and, and, you know, you talked about the, the Giving Up Worry for Lent book, and I think yeah. one of the things that's really interesting, so many of us give up things during Lent, right? Mm-hmm. You know, chocolate, uh, snacks, dessert after dinner, beer, and, and those are fine things to give up. Fish if, sticks. If, if, fish, <laughs> <laughs> if, those are, if those are keeping you from a life of holiness, then give them up, absolutely. But, man, worry is something like thinking of giving up as something different than just tangible items, Mm -hmm. but the things that really consume your heart and your mind. Now, real quick, there's a code available. So if you are listening to this and you want to try some of these books, and we're going to talk about some more products, but if you go to everythingcatholic.com and you use the code TALK, you're going to save 15% on any of the stuff that we have here and anything that they have on the store. And there's so much, whether it's, you know, rosaries, home goods, devotionals, they have jewelry, apparel, 
go there to everythingcatholic.com and you'll save 15% off of everything. So what's this book you have right here? I'm loving this. That's a super because, cool book. Yeah, I mean, the, and super powerful women, mm -hmm. you know? Hey, would you take it Take it easy, guys? Take it easy. Okay. Yeah, take Come on, it easy. give it to me. So, <laughs> so this is a four-week preparation, and the first week is with Saint Therese, Little Flower. These are all of these all of these women. What's I the turn title to of the book? All the time, set the world on fire for a four-week personal retreat with female. <clears throat> I don't think of we should be encouraging people to do arson. <laughs> You're, you're you were doing that last night yeah, with that torch starting that setting fire. Setting your shoes on fire yeah. last yeah, night. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally Ryan set his shoes on fire last night. That's a story for it, another it was time. one of the funniest here... things. I have a picture of it. Um, so the first week is with St. Therese of Lisieux. The second week is with St. Teresa of Avila, who's just a giant and, and a reformer of the church in the 16th century. I've been really uh, entering more deeply into her deposit of faith she's amazing um saint catherine of siena another powerhouse yeah and saint hildegard of, of Bingen. like these are women who are doctors of the church they yeah. have all the power and the authority of catechism and witness to holiness as thomas aquinas or polycarp or all the fathers of the church and this is a really this is great so if you're a man or a woman For this sure. is great but i think this yeah. is you know if for uh, women out there who want to experience these doctors of the church and what they can help bring to your Lent? This is an amazing and, book. And fem, you know, femininity clearly, you know, being drawn into a virtuous relationship with Christ and the transformation, the transforming power of Christ mm -hmm. in these women. I mean, I've I've interacted with them for many many years. Um, so even as a man, I mean, I they call me to greater masculinity. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I think this title comes from a quote from St. Teresa of Avila that yeah. be truly yourself and you will set the world on right. fire. And I think this book will help you do that. Yeah. And, and I think one of the things, too, that kind of adds a Linton touch to this with St. Teresa of Lisieux, she had um, the little way. And mm -hmm. that's a fantastic way of thinking about your daily sacrifices as you go through Lent, giving everything that you give up, using that as a way to give back to God. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then also, uh, we have here the, the Word on Fire Bible. So, look, if you're looking to enter maybe more deeply into the Scriptures this year, Word on Fire Bible is an excellent way to not only read the Scriptures as they are, but then get the context and get teaching from saints, uh, theologians, and doctors of the church on what these mean. It's a really great cross-reference Bible. It's one of the most beautiful oh, it's my and well-researched Bible. Bibles out there. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, you know, from Word on Fire, Bishop Barron, mm -hmm. but it's available on everythingcatholic.com, which is really great. So, I mean, you have these books that are more personal reflections and, and retreats, retreats, but this, if you're looking to dive into Scripture this Lent, because a lot of people, again, like you said, a lot of people look to give things up. You should also be adding things during Lent and right. adding a devotion and a commitment to reading scripture is really important. And this is a great guide. I mean, yeah. every single verse has something that helps explain it, contextualize it, and draw more out of it mm -hmm. from from the very greatest uh, theologians in the history of the church. So you yeah. can get this on there too. Yeah. Is, this, is this for like <clears throat> all ages? <clears throat> well, it'd be for, for adults, not for kids. But okay. I'll tell you yeah. what's for like kids though. Like a 12 year old, though. I'm thinking like wouldn't. Uh, probably not. Okay. But what do you have for kids? This yeah. right here. It's so cool. Awesome, dude. What it's so cool. It's, it's called the Catholic Family Crate Little Way. Okay. Based it's after so cool. uh, of, of Teresa Saint Teresa of Lisieux. Yeah. And they're all these cards. And the first one that I came up to is offer it up for world leaders. Be extra kind to someone. You know? And, and hey, Howard, I love you. It's a daily sacrifice <laughs> card. That was for Joe Let's Biden. See if I, could, I could shuffle these back. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because I want it to be random, Ryan. It's like uh, offering up roulette or something. You know? <laughs> pick one. <laughs> all right, let's let's all pick one, and then we have to do it. Okay. One, Stop, Ryan. Not man. a whole. <laughs> Make a present for here, someone. Howie. So I got. I'm gonna draw a picture for my daughter. That's give up a do. special treat or a snack, and offer it up for the sick. There That's really cool. These are great for kids, I'll man. That's right. so simple. Yeah. So simple. And it's, hey, here's a thing you can do and who it is for. And it teaches them that It's like kind a of, work of mercy. Yeah, this right? is great. Like yeah. in prayer. I've often Mine been, says, help your parents prepare dinner. Offer it up for the hungry. <laughs> I've got a couple of little hands that always like to help me prepare oh, yeah. for dinner. And it's a little bit more work than I'd I, like. This is, <laughs> but, so maybe that's more for me. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was just about to say the same dinner. thing. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get, Howie? Let's see. Joyful, joyfully participate in mass. 
and <laughs> offer it up for those in religious life. So wow. easy. That's awesome. easy. Oh, yeah, these are great. One. This is a really, this is a really cool, cool set. Idea. The little way. What a beautiful idea. And it's then my, great. mine is do something you don't like with joy Ooh. and offer it up for those who are sad. You gonna go talk to Mason? <laughs> I already talked to him. I already talked to him. I talked there. to my neighbor. <laughs> he ratted me out to the HOA. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's sad, so you can offer it up for Mason. See, it's it, it the circle of the economy of salvation. Right. So but yeah, this is really that's cool. a really cool thing. Uh, and that's that's designed to be something for kids and for parents to, to work on together. The Catholic Family Crate is one of the vendors that we have that we carry products for, and they make some fantastic family that's products. Quality. So that's one of them. We got two others that I think are worth showing. Ryan, what do you got right there? Yeah, this is a sta- uh, for children again, which is what I'm looking for. Is uh, it's again Catholic Family Crate Stations of the Cross. It's got this oh excellent. cool little uh, metal uh, hook that all these are on. You can kind of flip through them. It's like a flipboard. And it's got the stations in here, and then the back it's got all the prayers. Um, that you pray uh, for the stations. So this would be good for like my oldest daughter to take to my youngest daughter to kind of help them go through the mm-hmm. stations. Yeah, I- explaining the passion and the crucifixion to children is difficult. And I yeah. like my kid, you know, my youngest son, he'll he'll bring it up to me and I'll be like, and I'm like, I'm almost uh, dumbstruck because I don't know exactly mm-hmm. how to say mm-hmm. the, the magnitude of the cruelty that our Lord mm-hmm. suffered. And I think this is a great way to help explain that so that mm-hmm. children can understand that, you know, it was about his, you know, passion, death, and resurrection, but maybe in a way that's not so difficult to explain, because mm-hmm. I know that's always been difficult for my, me. My three-year-old Benjamin, whenever we're at Mass, he points to the crucifix, or even at the house, and he'll just go, he died. Mm. And I'm always like, but he rose again! Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not just dwell on the death, yeah, you know? That's great. But that is going to, you know, one of the, the traditions of the Church is to go to the Stations of the Cross on Fridays during mm-hmm. Lent, yeah. and it's something that's going to happen at all parishes around the world, and You'll so miss cool. it if you don't intentionally yeah. make an opportunity to go. Usually there's a fantastic fish mm-hmm. fry afterwards, mm-hmm. but still bring that with you. Help your kids stay engaged so that they can follow along and understand it. And they're going to be they're going to be easier and more joyful to have mm-hmm. with you if they can follow along and understand. Awesome. And, yeah. and I mean, the laminate, the quality of this, yeah. you know, and to have something tactile in your child's hand in a devotional way that's theirs. Mm-hmm. That's a really important thing in nurturing the faith of your children. Yeah. So yeah. great job. Yeah. So this is Catholic family mm, crate. Yeah. This, this is like a, a liturgical art um, box from again the Catholic uh, family crate, uh, and it's got all these liturgical uh, artwork pieces that are really really cool. Again, it looks like it's driven towards is, the children. Yeah. And this know? is for the Lent and, and then on the back. On the back, it's got basically um, an explanation of the artwork mm-hmm. uh, and its significance and then also a prayer right to so grab to that add one to that. Wednesday you guys take it easy man hey, let I me look at it you know those, you are, gra- those are really nice oh the images are gorgeous and look these would be Saint cool yeah. these would be cool to uh, yeah. you know string up Saint some Joseph twine in your house uh-huh. with little clothes pins and put them on there turn each one over as you move through the different uh, days nice. so this season. is this is kind of like a you know almost like a, like an advent calendar correct oh, cool yeah. You know, yeah. So yeah. it yeah. takes you through Lent the big day right. so late Tare Sunday yeah. yeah rejoice yeah I say rejoice that's a that's pink <laughs> Richie Sunday <laughs> that's one of my favorite what about Palm oh. Sunday this is excellent man yeah, these are great cool. People are doing such great things, and we—we we, it's a privilege to be on the talk show and connect with everything Catholic with Jordan and to share the amazing things that are happening in our Catholic Church and the work that's being done from, you know, the lotions and the candles and the chrism scents to the books to so many things. If you think Catholic, you should be thinking everything Catholic and checking out everythingcatholic.com, and you'll see... Everything Catholic. <laughs> you know, and you, you just mentioned this. I think it's really cool that they are collecting all these things so from these important. small craft and boutique Catholic creators and putting them onto one site where you can find them all. So you're helping support Catholic yeah. businesses. Mm-hmm. You're getting high quality things that are curated. Like, curated. Yeah. And um, you know, it's building a Catholic culture, you know. Yeah. Um You've got a lot of choices for where you can spend your money and what you do with your time. And considering this and making this as one of those choices of how you do that, I think brings so many benefits. And then the last thing, you've got a lot of great art and Mm -hmm. home goods. So here's a beautiful Last Supper. We Mm -hmm. have the rosary hanger hanging Mm -hmm. up on our wall. 
Um, there's all kinds of framed art that you have, and then you have these beautiful. these candles and yeah. stuff as well. Yeah, so I mean, you know, books it, leading you through the season, no brainer. Things for your kids is fantastic, but don't forget to add elements of the liturgical season to your home, right? So this is a, a gorgeous uh, a relief of the Last Supper. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got several beautiful crucifixes and crosses on the site. Here's a, a wooden cross that we have made by one of our partners, the Catholic Woodworker. Good. Handmade, high, mm-hmm. high quality. Yeah, you know, oh wow, you know, real artisan. Yeah, it's stuff. a great Same desk Benedict cross. Yeah. Put mm-hmm. it in your house or bring it to your work and have it on your desk. Mm-hmm. But but fill your home with these things too. You know, obviously the candles. We've talked about them many times on the show. Mm-hmm. But in particular, incense and frankincense and myrrh might be great ones to have mm-hmm. lit in your home during the season of Lent, just to kind of. Draw your mind to it. Remember, and you have some couple special scents candles coming up too. Don't that's you? right. Yeah, for Easter we've got a, a Lily of the Valley candle that's coming up. Oh and wow! And we've got one that sell, smells like fresh cut grass, just to kind of that, that springtime season I bring some fresh. I want to try. Yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah. And and you know, Brian, you mentioned it at the start, but remember, you know, use the code Talk T A L K for fifteen percent off at checkout. But don't sit on this because Ash Wednesday is right around the it's, corner. It's yeah. like next week. That's right. Um, yeah. And and we, we've got to ship the stuff to you. So, you know, yeah. our shipping deadline is, is rapidly approaching. The 15th mm-hmm. of February is the last day that you can order if you want it by Ash Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And some of these books in particular, you don't want to miss a day. Yeah. So go ahead and grab, you know, an assortment of different Lenten themed items. When you go to everythingcatholic.com, right there on the homepage is a special Lenten collection. You click the button, and we have all the Linton products right cool. there for you. It makes it super easy for you. And then grab a few and use that code TALK at checkout for 15% off. Excellent. Now, you can order them anytime, but if you want them there by Ash Wednesday so that you get the full 40-day experience out of them, that's when you sign that's up right. So <clears throat> by the 15th. So go to Catholic, everythingcatholic.com, use code TALK to save 15%. Um, Jordan, it's always awesome to have yeah, you on. You're so really creative, it, and you're bringing here. so much, I don't know, just good things to the church, yeah. you know, good, simple things, and we need more of that because there's always so much bad news and so many unnecessary products and so many things that just fill up our hearts and our houses Mm -hmm. with junk. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a good thing, you know, supporting Catholic creators, helping catechize your children and helping reflect yourself. So happy to have you on about it. And truly, when you think about the the name Catholic, it's universal. And, you know, something that the Catholic Church upholds in her teachings and the catechism and what the Church has always done is to empower the people. Mm -hmm. And and in relationship to subsidiarity and small business, local business, and how important that is to the livelihood of society. Mm -hmm. And without that, we become controlled. Mm -hmm. And and what you're doing and, and what you're accomplishing by getting people in front of you know, audiences and, and you know, share, showcasing their handiwork. Mm-hmm. It's just, I'm so yeah. impressed and I'm so grateful for what you're doing yeah. for the church and it's just awesome to have you. It's a ton of fun and it's really, really neat when we get to build relationships with the people who make these things. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pleasure imagine. to do it and they're fantastic people too. Their heart is in the right place. Amen. So it's just, it's wonderful all around. That's what it's about. Yeah. So we thank you for connecting with us at the talk show each and every week and make sure Order your stuff now and journey through Lent with these amazing sacramentals, these books, these resources. Let's dig deep and let's encounter Christ risen from the tomb once again and uh, enjoy our faith and enjoy our fellowship. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next week.